Welcome to another maybe exciting five minute water pairing. So he's not committing to anything in particular just yet. Or is he going to commit to a baloney structure later? Maybe I, I've got him wondering. I'm hoping. <laughs> I've got him slightly on edge. Or is he just transposing something? He definitely knows. Maybe Queen A4 here. Bit of pressure on the Queen side. If it takes Knight D4, Knight D4, Queen D4, Bishop C4, uh, Bishop F7 picks up the Queen. That's possible, yeah. He's not really doing this, is he? He's kind of released that central tension. Can I take on a6? Rook a8. So bishop b3. It's got b5. Maybe I'll just put the bishop back. If b5, maybe queen d1. Yeah, there's a lot of noise outside, I know. You probably hear it. The microphone's only supposed to pick up right in front. It's one of those. Uh, but it's pretty noisy. <laughs> it's uh, approaching some... Well... Mm, let's see. Am I improving his position significantly? I think I am. If I'm taking, and to take is a mistake, as Smirnov says. Uh, I don't want to improve my opponent's position in the slightest. Okay, uh, let's see. A3 is B4 there. Hmm. I'm going to go back to, if I go queen b3 here. Huh? He's playing for bishop d5, isn't he? And there's queen b4, maybe. Well, tactically, it's interesting. Rook a1, rook c2, bishop d3, rook b2. Is it convincing for him to do that? Is there an element of doubt? Kompov might not find it entirely clear. I don't know to win this pawn. Um. If given a move, I might play a3 and rook c5. I'll take off that bishop before f6 happens. I don't want to give him a pass pawn with a4. Knight c3, I'm hoping, is not too fatal. Bishop d3 coming up. Knight c3. I can't see what else at the moment. Knight c3 threatens bishop f3. Knight e5, as long as there's no knight e2 check winning the rook in some line, but I think bishop takes instead of rook takes. So knight e5. F6, knight g4, knight e3 after. 
Maybe King F1 tactically is a good idea. Knight D7 to C5. Oh. Okay, F3, King F2 for the king at the end of the game. Or just double rooks here behind that. I can double rooks there. I've got bishop e2 after that. I think king on f2 might be a good idea. No, knight e4 check. Wins the rook on c1. Okay. Rook a1. King f1. Maybe king f1. Is that safe enough? I think a knight to c5 plan would be good. But it's kind of probably difficult to achieve that, to say the least. Pawn's on dark square here, away from his bishop. I've just stranded my knight, haven't I? F6, there's knight g6. Just, I nearly stranded the knight. <clears throat> The exchange set here for a strong pawn looks intriguing and might cause my opponent a headache. There's knight d7 as well. To rescue the knight. No, f6 does knight g6. Let's do this just to try and cause a, a problem. A headache because I think I might have some compensation. Well, I'm, I'm hoping that this pawn is, is useful. So I'm actually relying on knight takes g6 on f6. Right now, this knight's. Without squares, um, I got to protect my D four somehow. I think he's winning that pawn. F six and then doubles the rooks. And this is knight F four there. Then rook D four knight E six. I was just in time. Now there's rook c5 there. Okay, f6, knight d3, rook d7, knight f4. Rook d4, knight e6. Okay, can I take that? Try this way. Maybe rook c4, rook b4. Uh, right, try and blockade. Maybe knight b6, knight d6. Knight b6? He's got rook b6. Right, after rook b1, then knight b6. He sacks the exchange back. Knight d6 might be better. Than anything else. Okay, bishop c4, rook b2 first. Try and win this pawn. Do this for rook a2. Bishop e6, d5. Got a good compensation, surely. Beat the GM for a while. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm fist. I'm fist of Popovnik. Uh, I don't know why I've got to pick that up as well. I don't know. I've become a bit crazy. Uh, I thought it might cause him problems. I didn't think it was that sound, but I thought, in terms of setting problems, I thought that past pawn imbalance would be tricky because the alternative here is just a passive position against the GM basically like this 
it's just one that the trend is just upwards this is the decision point guys you want to, you just want to accept an upward trend for a gym he's just going to wipe the wipe, wipe you out he's going to take your pawns you're going to be pawnless do you want that or do you want to try a variation which engine says no but <clears throat> the engine I presumably would find a way to totally eliminate uh, the long-term threat of the uh, of the, of the strong, the seemingly strong pawn. Uh, let's see how. Well, he's not making a good job of things, it seems, because the evaluation has now dropped and dropped. I mean, it was just here, slight inaccuracy. There's a lot of noise from outside. I gotta say, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I think I'll carry on next next time. A new T-shirt next time. G good conclusion for this little session today. Um, just King F6 then. He's better, but he's he's so short on time. It's a blitz game. That's what makes it better not to have. Passive positions difficult to play. So uh, he slipped up. So I'm finally, I'm doing well here. Okay, comments, questions, like, shares, appreciated. Until next time. Thanks very much.